It feels like Spirit's got a lot to say. Are you listening? Are you taking the time to check in, feel, and receive on the level that you're being called or that the message is being delivered to? So that might mean rising, like rising to the occasion, elevating your standards, elevating your frequency, to receive what's necessary. And sometimes to elevate, it means cutting off what's holding you back within the mental body, um, cutting off those bonds, those karmic attachments, um, those trauma bonds, more so the pattern than the actual external circumstance. But the hardwired pattern is why we are so attached to the external i'm like totally drawn into this key right now <laughs> like this keyhole at this door it's actually very beautiful so i'm wondering um like you hold the key to open the doors to prosperity for you or the dreams that you want to see fulfilled in your life like don't hold yourself back and i've been getting that very clearly lately like don't hold back. Now, you are a right fighter. You do need to choose your battles and not exert energy where it will be expelled, but exert energy where there's this propulsion or this uh, where it will plant seeds where they will grow, right? And weed your garden so that you aren't bombarded, but that what seeds you do plant can flourish. Um, they're giving me some words that like aren't like part of my like everyday vocabulary. Um, so please take what resonates, explore what resonates always, you know, um, uh, you might even like get your own internal feedback sparked by this dialogue, this message. And so follow that rather than anything I have to say, but they're, they've given me this before own. Uh, so like it's, it feels like free will amplified. Um, and like the, the divine is behind you 100% because you're with you 100%. So if there is any obligatory energy, there's going to be something. It's almost like, piecemeal and your fragmented energy doesn't allow you to step in wholeheartedly. But all of, all of you is on board, the energy moves quickly and the universe helps to support you because it's at that level. Um, I got this a couple of weeks ago, if not, uh, I hope I spelled it right. <laughs> I felt really silly the other day and I was grateful my supervisor is patient with me. Somebody had said something I, I misspelled and, and they circled it even, the mistake, and I was kind of like, well, what's the problem? And I'm confused. <laughs> my supervisor was kind of like, you, you misspelled it. This is how it's supposed to be. And I, I literally, <laughs> I literally don't, don't see it. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> um... Um, but they were giving to me, and so like I, because I had this written down. It came in while I was actually at the office. Um, but it feels like free will energy. Like don't push on to others, or don't allow others to push on to you. Kind of like you can throw the lifeline, but you can't swim for them, right? You can't drown yourself trying to save someone, but you can throw the life raft out, right? Um, it's kind of what I was getting, but as I was like writing that out again, um, I was kind of getting like bonds, cut the bonds, cut the bonds. And they were giving me, um, uh, like, it feels like not out of obligation, but it's like, like not listening to humans, like taking direct orders from the powers that be, not from humans. Does that make sense? Um, that's that's really what it feels like, is like that higher power, that higher calling is what's driving, right? And so 
the idea of punishment and reward and attachment to outcome gets dismantled because you are following and this is even it feels even different than intrinsic motivation it is by faith to what you follow each step you make and they were kind of giving me and they're telling me like rise to the occasion um Okay, so now they're giving me the hokey pokey. <laughs> you want your left foot in, you want your left foot <laughs> So, um, And I'm sorry, I know some of you have said you don't like the, the sound. It can be a little bit jolting uh, of me. Um, but I, I literally, it's like, I, I haven't quite understood the message that wants to come through, but I got... I got the message, or like I got the message that something is stirring and something needs to be shared with the collective. So thank you for your listening and thank you for the energy you bring to this planet. I feel like so much is shifting on levels that, okay, so just because you can see it doesn't mean others can see it, right? And it's not your job. You can't, it's, I'm getting the thing at the eye doctor, one or two, one or two, you know, they put the little lens and they ask you which one they want. Like that person has to make the choice to, okay, make the appointment, go to the doctor and then choose which lens they want, right? Like all of that is of someone's choosing, right? You could recommend, hey honey, it's, you know, it's past your, to your eye exam, it's time to reevaluate your focus, right? You can make that nudge, but that's about it. You could even make the appointment for them if you let them. If they let you. Well, okay. So it's like you could set it up, right? You could coach them along, but ultimately, when they step up to bat, it's their cho their their choice. Like they have to bring their skill set to the table. Not everyone has your right fright or energy, and I guess because of your own inner tenacity and your trust with the divine, maybe you you have forgotten how far you've come. And this isn't like to your own horn. You like embrace being humble. That's fantastic. It's more of like. You might need to catch up with where you're at. <laughs> Newsflash, you're fucking phenomenal. Like <laughs> you missed that memo. <laughs> Top card. Chariot, there's movement. And, and they were getting giving me that like start from, from the beginning. Like we're starting for the this is one of my first decks. So there there is movement top card they're saying have patience with yourself and others so you have seven and five last one they're saying the truth has been revealed like you see the truth you see the truth and it can be frustrating <laughs> when you see it and then like others don't and you're like hey y'all wake the fuck up <laughs> oh well uh, it's because you know how to manage your energy right like you're you're at the courtship level you like you hold court you you've got higher standards right um don't let anyone gaslight you based on the truth that you reveal and you receive right it's up to them if they want to remain stuck in the mud which is usually what ends up happening i mean who knows what happens when you get your orders to exit you know um, i was speaking with someone and and you know we both have I guess the language, like I understand that language, like direct orders, like I won't take direct orders from a human, <laughs> but I'll take direct orders from above. <laughs> when you get the call to exit, you exit. When you're asked to stay put or step in or keep going, you do. And the waiting game is over. So let go of like whatever thought processes were part of that assignment you were you were on, right? 
it's now time to celebrate. Kick up your heels, honey. <laughs> I don't know where that's going from. Mm. Okay, so I really feel like it is time to like cut ties, cut the cords, or perhaps this, there's this unveiling, this, um, it might not necessarily be cutting cords. It could be like this, like, um, mm, mm, what is it when, when you do like a grand opening and they do the whole ribbon cutting? It could be like that. Like, there's like, it's not blind faith that you move upon, but others don't quite understand. They're not able to articulate how you move. And, and like at this point in you understand or you, you see when people move funny, right? And you adjust accordingly. <laughs> okay, I got two. So with this in reverse, I'm gonna say that, you know what I mean? Like the commitment's not there. Um, and perhaps whatever, like, rejection was more of protection, right? So you could have been there, like, you could have stepped into this scenario, this project, this relationship with the idea of commitment, right? And if you didn't receive that, and there's another truth that was revealed to you, trust that you were on divine mission, listen to your divine counsel, right? That is what governs your order of operations, right? You nourish at the soul level. What does that look like, right? So nourishing the soul. And utilizing and what was coming up in the last reading very heavily was inner resources so regardless of the external circumstances that it's not meant to continue to fragment you right you might find yourself i'm seeing um what is it called like more like asteroids where it feels like fragments like it's not a fragmented reality it's more of your wholeness of coming together and the whole journey and embracing that spectrum of being, that spectrum of being. What does that look like, right? In society now we have like, it's so many ways to define sexuality, so many ways to define our gender um, expression, for example, right? And so you get to take whatever pieces resonate with you and discard the rest. Right? You've debunked the myths. You've allowed the truth to speak for itself. And that's where like that right fighter choose your battles. Like is, you can't change what someone's mindset. You can only lead by example. You can't fix their reality. You can't change their circumstances. They have to be willing to do it themselves. And at this point, you understand that. So you step in, you do your due diligence, you do the work that God brought you here to do, and you step out when God says it's time. <laughs> Five, change, change, change. <laughs> uh, it's... I don't know, like, this card also reminds me of, like, um, Pulp Fiction, like, that, not that, that frantic energy when they, that couple tries to, like, hold up the diner, it's more of, like, I don't even know because as soon as I started saying it, I got different images of the movie. When you know who you are, it doesn't matter if you're in the suit, if you're in the back seat of the car, or you're in the funky t shirt, right? <laughs> Thinking of after uh, Mr. Wolf stepped in. 
next destination. So it does feel like you're going to get your orders for the next move. So it does feel like God's got a plan. Listen up. <laughs> and you're going to be treated accordingly, right? There's going to, like, you've learned your lesson now. You've learned your lesson now. So it's like you're going to be taken care of. What does that look like, right? And I was kind of having this conversation with myself because, you know, we, we're taught like checks and balances. We're taught budgeting. And I'm not saying that doesn't have a solid place in our reality, but there is something different between scarcity mindset, that lack mindset, the fear mongering and abundance and trust. And then like, it's like when you open your hands and you're not like holding, holding, holding in fear, you have room to receive. And when you've opened your heart and mind to receive, the doors start opening. Now we're back to the door and the lock. Like it is you unlocking something within you for God to pour into you. Will you allow that, right? What does like limo service sim symbolize for you, right? Isn't that chivalry where someone else is opening the door for you, right? Are you the one in the hat taking someone else for a ride? You know, like your journey is your own, but it does feel like there is more to come. Like you're going to get your next assignment. <laughs> to be continued. All right. So this is three, the manifesting energy, three of roses, and it was, I think there was a three of cups, which is like celebration. Yeah, celebrate, good time. Come on, um, uh, let's celebrate. Who sings that? There's a party going on over here right now. Let's celebrate and have a good time. It's all right. So st continue to embody like this chill energy. <laughs> it's like, take the chill pill. Let's pause for a minute. You've got the truth. You got your ticket. You know what's up. <laughs> there might be frantic energy around you with the changes, right? Which is why you're like, okay, the dust needs to settle a little bit. But you are going to be given opportunities but it is of your own choosing and we have to respect that others have their own choice too but if it doesn't align for you you've stepped in wholeheartedly right god opened that door for you you stepped in did your work and now like that gap is changing right the doors are opening for, will open if they're meant to they will close and that gap to make the choice will change. Does that make sense? It's like that transit portal energy. Like, <laughs> last call, <laughs> you're gonna miss the train. <laughs> That's okay, you can wait for the next one, but where you wanna be. But it does feel like there are moves to make. You get to continue on your journey and enjoy. Well, I do hope this serves well, sending lots of love and light your way. <laughs>